So, meeting situations, what are they? Sometimes a meeting situation could be that the road you're on is quite narrow, um, not enough space for two vehicles to safely get along at the same time. So we're just gonna go around and have a look at a couple of options that you've got in terms of um, dealing with those kind of situations. As you're going down the road, you're using your scanning techniques of looking as far down the road as you can, halfway, and at your bonnet, and just keep scanning, and always looking and assessing. Now, if we look here, I'm just gonna pull over to the left ever so slightly, just to allow that vehicle to come through. This is called a hold back position. The road is wide enough, but it's just to show you an example. Check my center right mirror as that vehicle has passed me and then I move back out to my position. The reason I check my centre right is to make sure that the following vehicle that was behind me, motorbike, car, even a push bike sometimes, has waited behind me as well and not attempting to overtake me at that point. Again, there could be another meeting situation around the corner here, but we're scanning. We're using our scanning techniques now. As you can see, it's quite clear at the moment. Just about see that van moving off. We're going to take the next road on the right check my center right mirror at the moment a lot of activity just here there's a car on the right hand side a little car there they're turning left now started to signal left we'll move into this next street again we're going to take the next road on the right just here now this road's going to get even narrower so we've got to look and keep scanning for those passing places when we do encounter those. So here look, the vehicle opposite, we're both doing a right turn. We could also both turn at the same time here, both do a near side to near side. We've got a bit of traffic to our left and our right, so I'm gonna start making my move, just as they start making theirs, you see that? So, up this road, scanning, trying to look for vehicles approaching, but I'm also looking for places for me to stop, should I need to stop. I keep moving around my vision improves a little bit better here's a meeting situation with this vehicle now so I'm just going to pull into this gap check my centre left mirror but slow down a little bit I've gone back to first gear already and I'm going to hold back just here I've pulled in just enough so that the vehicle coming towards me can get past me as they come past you see the little flash centre right mirror check now now they flash to say thank you highway code you look it up, it says they're only flashing to let me know that they're there. Okay. Once they passed me, I checked my centre right mirror, to make sure I wasn't being overtaken, and I increased my speed. Now here, in this case, if a vehicle was to come towards me, I would hold back a little bit here, but I would keep moving, and this is called a rolling hold back position, until that vehicle would come into the space on their left hand side just there. Same thing though, as I go to continue, check my centre, my right mirror, make sure the following vehicle isn't overtaking me. Just there, a little bit tight. Centre right mirror, just as we move off. I'm gonna turn left at the end of the road. Coming up to these junctions. Now these junctions around here can be fairly tight. So making sure you peep and creep, all right? Really important that you peep and creep at these junctions. These junctions are very, very tight. You don't want to make a mistake on one of these junctions. Now, another meeting situation in front of us, that dust car. All right, it's a static object. I'm going to check my centre, my right mirror, like that other car. I'm going to move out already. What you've got to consider, where are the operatives? Where are the workers of that dust car? All right, so nice and steady. Check my centre left mirror, just move back to my left lane. Remember, don't signal around static objects. The only thing you'll signal around will be a push bike, potentially, or a horse. Next road on the left, centre left mirror, signal down. Again, I'm just gonna knock this back to first gear now, just to get a bit of control on this junction. And here, I'm just gonna continue on because I've got a vehicle just following me into this street, so I was gonna show you a hold back position. I'll come back round again. So a couple of places there, the big gap on the right hand side that any vehicles coming towards me would be able to move into and hold back themselves. Check my centre left mirror, we're going to turn left at the end of the road, slowing down, just about dipping my clutch 